Welcome everyone, we are Cats and Camo, here today with the SIG 1911. We're going to do another 1911. These are not Allie's favorite guns, but I like 1911s. I enjoy shooting 1911s, so today we're going to shoot one. Mm -hmm. This SIG 1911 is a 45 ACP. It holds 8 plus 1. It's 40 ounce. The barrel length of this gun comes out to 5 inches even, bringing the total length of the gun to 8.7. But to be honest with you, most 1911s, like for companies that make holsters, I think the frame and the slides do tend to be um, very similar in size and swappable. <laughs> um, so magazines, where they're normally specific to a type of gun, mm -hmm. uh, most 1911 single stacks will run almost any magazine oh. in it. And you can even take slides off and swap them. Wow. So, yeah, they, they are very similar. Okay. So, well, that's why you had difficulty finding those dimensions. <laughs> and none of our viewers actually care what the height <laughs> of the gun is. It looks like it's <gasps> this tall. Take it off. I'm going to check. Clear. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, there it is. Yep. There we go. So, it's clear. And it's got a metal frame, but with wood grips attached to it. I'm not sure if that means you can take them off and put different ones on. It looks like that would be the case. Um, I've seen other 1911s with a similar frame, obviously, that have different um, raised grips. So I'm guessing that's the case. Um, magazine release button over here. We're gonna, I have little hands, but that's still not bad. Pops out goes right back in. Nice. Now, eh, I'm guessing, ooh, wait, wait, safety, 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 right there. Safety, one-sided, but that, that's to be expected. And slide release, right next to it. Um, other than that, looks like a standard 1911. I would try to put on target, maybe. That doesn't go, that doesn't move too bad. Um, one of the interesting things that I'm uh, there's so many 1911s out there. I've just kind of got curious, and apparently it was so popular when it came out in 1911 that multiple gun brands or companies picked it up and used it pretty um, steadily and heavily until the like 1985, and I believe that covers World War One through the Vietnam War. I believe again, I'm not a history buff. I just guesstimating there. But we're gonna hand this over to Dan and let him take it apart and put it back together before we take it out on the range and have some fun. Well, he might have fun. It's at 45, so yikes. So to start with, magazine release button. Nice, kick some magazine out really clean. The mag aside, you're gonna check it to show clear. And it's important, when you take a 1911 apart, you have to pull the hammer back. So I tend to do that when I check clear, just make sure it's good to go. <sighs> hammer back. We're going to turn it. I don't want to point the barrel at you, the viewer, just in case. But with most 1911s, to get the guide rod out, you have to turn the bushing. And there's a little wrench that comes with the, your 1911, so it takes an extra part. The nice thing about the SIG is it's not a full guide rod inside. So it's just a tab there. You can actually do this without any sort of tool. You just push this down and turn the bushing to the side. Make sure you don't just let go. It's spring loaded and you will shoot this into the nether regions of your room. Spring comes out. Once you've accomplished that, now there's no tension on this. You're going to slide this back. There are two cuts in the slide. Okay, the first is, is the magazine catch. The, when the slide comes back and this moves up and catches it. To take it apart, there's a smaller notch. And you're going to run that back until it's right there to line up with that. And this is, on the other side, it's a pin that goes across. So you're going to push it forwards and take the magazine catch out. Put it down. Now this will come off. Now remember, this isn't a full guide rod. It's a short one, so be ready to catch that. The piece is coming out. See a little short one? Okay. This comes out. It's a frame. 
here's your slide. To take the barrel out, as always, you still have to take the pushing off, so you're going to rotate it all the way across, and then it'll just lift out. Set it aside, turn it, make sure that's down, and it just comes out. Okay, so again, it's, it's involved to take apart a 1911, but a little practice, manual at arms, this one, SIG comes apart really easy and goes back together fairly simple. So remember, barrel has to go in through the muzzle. You can't just slide it in. Put it in, barrel on, and then remember to turn it 90 degrees because we're not done with it yet. Okay, from here, you're going to set this on. You got to be a little more careful than you do with the full length because it'll move around a lot. So when you go to put this on, upside down is the key to a 1911 reassembly. Hold this over, and you're going to have to push that up. There's a little piece that'll stick down. So you're going to start it this way. Start it on the rails, move it past there, and when you get to here where it would catch, push that up and make sure it'll slide on, and then turn it. You're good to go. We're going to bring this back until you notice it lines up. So there's the good gap, and I usually put this in and start it right there. So I've got it caught. Bring it back so the notch lines up, Remember, this is spring-loaded with SIG. It's not a problem with a couple other firearm brands. It makes it a little difficult to reassemble. And then push it in so it's flush. Roll that forwards. Now we're going to put the spring in. Remember, this is under tension. And I don't know if you could hear it, but there's a little bit of give when that short guide rod lined up and, and went inside the spring. Keep tension on the slide so it doesn't just push back into the table. And you're going to push this down, turn it so it catches, and then push the little nib down until, ta-da, back together. Make sure it's clean. Magazine. We're going for the big blue silhouette. Apparently large scary aliens are blue. <laughs> kind of like our barrels here. Don't confuse the two. Five rounds into the silhouette. Take torso, leave me the headshots. I want its brains. <laughs> so you have five. You are loaded, chambered, safety on. Maybe I'm just getting used to it. <laughs> My turn. The SIG 1911 headshot at seven yards. Higher than that. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. And if you enjoyed this video, point those crosshairs at the like button down below. And make sure to stay tuned for part two coming later this week. See you then.